What's going on, guys? Welcome to We Got a Problem. So I was reading through the news earlier on, and I come across this independent article from Nina Gill, who is the MEP for Labour in the West Midlands, who was heckled by the Brexit supporters, and there were claims that they shouted to go home. But in my opinion, I think it was a Labour supporter telling them to go home. Uh, she was giving her acceptance speech for winning, so it's not likely for them to be saying, go home, you lost, is it? Because technically she won that seat, even if the Brexit party did win the whole day. But anyway, she goes on to this independent article where she attacks the Brexit supporters, the Brexit party itself. They sowed the seeds of their own destruction, and now it's up to us to finish the job. So we'll read through this article and we'll take a look at it. Now, the headline starts with, I was told to go home because I am pro-Europe MEP. This torrent of bitter abuse must be stopped. I am everything the Brexit Party activists despise. An immigration success story, a woman in a position of power, and a proud whore of the European Union. Oh, sorry, it says a proud evangelist for the European Union, not a proud whore. The article starts with the demonising of traitors who disagree. Check. Intimidation and foul-mouthed contempt for opponents. Check. Simplistic answers to complex problems. Check. That sounds kind of like the left-wing media, doesn't it? And the left-wing Labour Party. Uh, intimidation, foul-mouthed contempt for opponents. Yep, demonising of people who they don't agree with. Uh, Sargon, Tommy, Farage, anyone who wants Brexit. They call everyone fascists and racists. So yeah, I'd say she's kind of talking about herself there, really. I can't see her talking about anyone else. But we'll continue. Now, whether they like it or not, and despite their activities, howls of outrage. What? Howls of outrage? It's the left that runs around outraged about everything. The Brexit Party's rapid rise to prominence bears all the hallmarks of far-right movements through Europe's troubled 20th century history. Um, no, it doesn't. It shows that people are sick of the European Union. The uncomfortable political baggage tends to follow Nigel Farage wherever he goes, and it's not a coincidence or a conspiracy. No, it's because he's directly against the political bullshit that gets caused by the European Union. This woman's an idiot. The latest incarnations of the cult of Farage, born out of the racist wreckage of UKIP. I've never seen or heard anything racist that UKIP has ever said. I did actually look for this before. And, yeah, I've never found anything racist that any of them have ever said. Nor Farage, nor even Tommy Robinson. I can't find anything racist that Tommy Robinson has said. But anyway, we'll continue, which started out as spreading fake news about immigration, but which now actively embraces is Islam Islamophobia. I don't really could. I mean, Islamophobia is not even real. It doesn't make sense. Phobias are an irrational fear of something. The people who have reasons to dislike Islam, they don't think it's an irrational fear. In their mind, it's perfectly rational. Now, we started out spreading fake news about immigration but which now actively embraces its Islamophobia. It was conceived as an anti-politics -politi anti political movement, but that is a concept as preposterous as it is impossible. Instead of building a unifying manifesto, shadowy big money and vested interests brought them a rallying cry and a blank canvas for every crank, has-been and political wannabe to project their prejudice onto. The simmering frustration of an electric fed up with the chaos of Brexit has been ruthlessly exploited by people who knew exactly what sort of a campaign they were building. A campaign of false blame, false promises and false friends. Then, but the cracks are already showing in the anger the Brexit party supporters show towards anyone who disagrees with their worldview. What on earth is this woman talking about? The left literally attack anyone who disagrees with their worldview, calls them a Nazi, calls them a racist, attacks their family, attacks their livelihood, tries to get them sacked from their job. Is this woman demented? Is she literally talking about the things that she would do herself and putting that onto Brexit party supporters? And then she continues, I'm not going to read all of the article, but she continues to go on about when she took the stage on Sunday night after uh, thanking people for re-electing her as their MEP in Birmingham. And she says, complains about how she was a subject of a torrent of abuse, and it, like, unlike anything experienced by other candidates, apart from other candidates who have had things thrown at them, you know, physically assaulted on their campaign trail. I'd say people have had it worse than you. 
With their boos and cries of F off and go home, the Brexit Party activists attempted to drown out my speech. Well, they kind of did because I couldn't hear your speech over them screaming and shouting. But yeah, you called them a fascist and a racist. Like, what did you expect? Now, that should come as no surprise. Robust political debate is a cornerstone of our democracy and I am not a snowflake. Well, considering you're sitting here crying about it now, I'd say you're a snowflake. But I am everything that Nigel Farage of this world despise. An immigration success story, a woman in position in power. As I've already read earlier, I've already read this bit. It was like the title at the top. I don't think he cares that you're an immigration success story or that you're a woman in power. The fact that you're a woman has got nothing to do with it. He wants to stop open door immigration. Now that's not stopping Pakistani or Indian people coming to the UK. That's based around European people. As Pakistani and Indians, to my knowledge, still have to get a visa, still have to go through the legal channels to come here. As where a European in the current laws just walks across the border, shows their passport, welcome to England. So yeah, it's not it's not the same. You he is not talking about you. He is not talking about people who are already here. He is talking about stopping mass immigration, not kicking out people who are here already. By contrast, all Farage has ever used his considerable privilege to achieve is discord, division and gain. In the aftermath, as more than a quarter of a million people watched footage of the abuse in less than 24 hours, the excuses have been as predictable as prophetic. It's what we said, but not what we meant. Well, you called us fascists. Not for the first time, the irony is lost on them. No, the irony is lost on you, as I still think it was a Labour supporter who said that, saying since they lost that seat, go home, you lost. Like, it doesn't really seem like something they would say. Calling the Brexit party out for what it really is does not mean I think that all those who voted for it are racists or fascists. Oh, I notice how you've had to clarify that before you end up fucking pissing off a lot of people like you called brexit's party and its supporters racists or fascists that's why they reacted the way they did unbelievable but there is no question that they have certainly cornered that part of the democratic democratic market so what you are saying they're racist and fascist if they support the brexit party then yeah as they've cornered that demographic apparently at some point there must be a day of reckoning for the most destructive disruptive force in british politics a point where even Farage and his acolytes are forced to admit they have nothing to offer but hate and blame. A point where they are seen for the opportunists they are. A point where they run out of excuses, but clearly just not yet. So for, how, so for however long I am back in Brussels, I will shine a light on their darkness. These attempts to silence are doomed to failure because every time the far right has reared its ugly head in Britain, from the Battle of Cable Street in the 30s to the National Front of the 70s, it has been defeated by ordinary decent people. Even at the moment of the Brexit party's supposed triumph on Sunday night, they were sowing the seeds of their own destruction, and now it's up to us, up to, us to finish the job. But you, haven't, you ain't got to finish the job on anything. They are literally ahead. Your party, your Labour MEP, your party wants to remain. How are you going to stay true to the, to the voting public if your party wants to remain and people want to leave? You know, they're not, not going to finish the job. The, the main parties are so in their own destruction. Right, that's going to be the end of the video, as that's the end of the article, and this woman is a complete idiot. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. There are plenty of side swipes and digs at the Brexit party and its supporters in that. Right, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment and let me know what you thought about this article down below. A share is always appreciated, and I'll catch you in the next one.